Hi everyone, this quick update about Ethereum, you guys. Remember, I already give one chart pattern, so we can expect this kind of move in future. So where I expected everything move uh, along with the according to my view. So still not yet, subscribe the channel, guys. Subscribe the channel, press the like button, leave a comment, join with us in the Facebook page, guys. Without your support, I'm not able to reach. 1000 followers as much as faster and help me to achieve 3000 subscribers level and whoever support me to achieve 2500 subscribers level thank you very much highly appreciate you guys we'll look out what we can expect it in future so still you guys remember i already talked about even i get trapped and because of the uh dixie chart and that day i have a huge confusion about the dixie chart how the dixie chart moving so that's the reason i lost not more money only little bit money i already exit still i don't have a confidence to enter the market because of i think the dixie chart is showing the strength to move higher so first of all i would love to see the dixie chart to drop below than this level that meaning below than 103 that's the ideal target for the dixie chart to re-enter the market guys so if you think this is the opportunity, this is that's what I am thinking. This is my view. This is the opportunity when the Dixie chart dropped. So this is the best opportunity to enter the market. Otherwise, other all the indicators, it shows the bearish uh, momentums. So right now, only the one of the bullish news here, everyone knows what we are seeing here, the golden cross in Ethereum. So Ethereum is still holding. Uh, apart from Bitcoin, comparing to the Bitcoin, is still Ethereum holding in a, one of the pattern and bull flag pattern. Actually, you guys can see easily want this and want this. We did not move down, so that is amazing. And we're seeing the such a drops, and after that, if the regain the same as it is. Only we did not touch the lower levels again, even though yesterday, day before yesterday. And a lot of drops is happen and but ethereum is still holding above one of my particular target that's amazing so that's why i'm super bullish still in ethereum ethereum will jump one shot so along with the entire market still bitcoin suffering to jump above twenty four thousand. you guys remember beginning i already explaining twenty five thousand to achieve we need to see the some news so that's going to be one of the Dixie chart. We need to see the Dixie chart dropped and stay below uh, 101. And it's not happened. And uh, next CPI numbers, I don't know what is going to be the next CPI number. So many people, the analyst prediction there, the next CPI numbers is going to be the 7.0. So that's going to be one of bearish news as well. And only the one bullish news, Jerome Powell, he already talked about the rate hikes posts. So they're going to post the rate hikes in case of they do that. Uh, that is the one of only bullish news. So we should see that the rest of also the become the bullish. So we can expect it to market to move higher. So right now, according to my view, you guys remember, I already explained we can move higher, drop down, move higher, drop down in this channel. So right now the next target level is here uh, 1810 very soon ethereum will jump to that level and particular target is the one of the red zone level also so we're already seeing that's move and someone can ask okay one more time we can come down actually this is consolidation level guys for ethereum ethereum is consolidating here in between so right now the golden cross is very close so we can expect it to the bounce to higher level might be we will jump here uh, 1810 and 1907 in between so similar kind of range 1000 uh, $100 range we can move in between little longer time so be carefully trade that's what I just want to tell you is still there is no clear direction about Dixie chart and the stock market is still the yesterday where they open actually my expectation yesterday i already gave one quick update we can expect it to land it here the same as it's already touched that is the breakout level so now we need to see the bounce so in case of that bounce happened today that is the one of good news as well to the entire crypto market then we can expect it 
to DexHR to come down. In case of fake out from here, go below than this level, guys. I just want to mention the level is uh, 4,069 below. That's going to be super disaster for entire market. This is the ideal target. A maximum S&P 500 can drop. In case of S&P 500 drop below than the 4,069. That's going to be disaster. We're going to see. We're going to come down again one more time. The next support level is this trend line. So then we can expect at the same time the golden cross, same time the death cross as well. It's happened several times, guys. Don't forget that. So we can expect that because this the golden cross, not that much huge golden cross, is very angle is very low. So that's the concern in case of drop below than this that's going to be super disaster the level is guys 4069 okay and the next thing will zoom out the lower time frame lower time frame still it shows slowly by slowly regaining that's what i talk about previously for all higher lows it's not a lower lows guys all higher lows so right now we are going to chase that one of significant level 1708 very soon so be carefully trade and these days little bit rush on it if you don't want to trade on a rush market leave aside and after one week you can enter that's what my that's what my advice for you and the next thing in case of i told you this thing has happened the ethereum will land at again the straight away 1400 level that's the major support level for ethereum 1400 level is possible so someone can ask how and why so that's what i'm going to show you why and how this is the first higher low and in case we consider this is the third wave like this so maybe this is the first higher low so this is third and we are in a fourth wave next is fifth the fifth supposed to be here so in a fourth wave guys i will tell you where should be that fourth wave it's the bottom and it's the current peak so the fourth wave expectation here uh in between so that's why my expectation might be it's dropped here after that we can expect a bounce so concerning the higher level drops this is the major correction guys so in case of this correction we entered right now so entire market will drop and the Bitcoin death cross is confirmed. So that's the one of thing. Bitcoin death cross weekly, week to day death cross is going to confirm, guys. And the rest of everything super bullish apart from the death cross in a Bitcoin. So this is the correction level we can expect it, but still we can consider correction is over. So someone can ask how. Because in case of we seeing this level, the first high low, we touch the minimum requirement. We already touched the minimum requirements, so then we should move higher. So according to this view, minimum requirement is done. Where the fifth wave going to be? I already mentioned my ideal target is here. So 2,183 and 2,386 in between and might be 2% FIP level as well 2,500. This is the minimum requirement. So we can expect it to hit this level. So that is the expectation guys. So it's depend on how the market react to confirm the correction is over. So seems like is over but the market condition is not that much good so that's what i'm saying guys in ethereum chart is showing the super bullishness still we did not see the low lows only we seeing the high lows 
if you consider this one and the dropped is still higher and this one and higher low so one two scenarios is firming out the next one two three is firm out we are going to chase the higher level numbers it's still we seeing the one and two one and two one and two three times is already form out one two scenarios so right now what we what we are expecting to jump above uh, 1708 so to jump above 1708 bitcoin should show the significant strength along with the dixie chart guys dixie chart need to be show the significant drops and today jerome powell he need to talk about the market some good things and there's the plan what they're going to do in a future plans uh, so then it's going to be one of push as well to the stock market so that's why after maybe the stock market first uh, half like two and a half an hour it's going to be a little bit disaster because of jerome Powell's speech after that we'll see what will happen and be carefully trade guys today is a little bit difficult because stock market dexy chart jerome Powell, three of them together so thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Be safe.